We're at Hamden for the first of two Scottish Cup semi-finals. I've spoken to a few Aberdeen fans and now I'm here with a Celtic fan. Paul, how are you feeling ahead of this one? Good. Uh, reasonably confident. I think Celtic are playing well at the moment. After a few hard games at the start of the year, I think the team are starting to play well. Uh, got Kyogo back in the team up front. And uh, yeah, no, I think I'm looking, looking forward to today's game. It's an Aberdeen side that have they've struggled this season. Interim manager Peter Levens got them playing. Haven't scored in their last two games. Do you feel like they could cause any upset here this afternoon? I think so. I think Celtic's weaknesses are probably at the back. Um, and as I think with Miofsky's playing and um, if they create chances, then I think they are a threat. But um, as I say, I think Celtic should have too much going forward and too much pace. But um, Cup semi-finals, I've been to many where, you know, the game, the, the game haven't gone as planned. And um, fingers crossed that Celtic will win today. Brendan Rodgers first season back but well, it's been up and down the fans you know at the start maybe weren't too happy yeah. do you think a double in the, winning the league and here in the Scottish Cup would be enough for you to be happy with his first season back? Oh absolutely as I say for me I mean losing a manager like, like Postacoglu you know with a unique st style of play um, it was never going to be easy for somebody to come in and take over um, and obviously Europe was difficult but it was difficult under Ange as well so um, I, I think as I say winning the league would be fantastic in our first season given the ups and downs and as I say we lost a lot of players at the beginning of the season lost Jota um, and as I say I think it took Rodgers a wee bit of time even last Saturday we see the first half is quite you know quite flat second half they come out and they're playing a wee bit more like we'd expect so as I say I think he's trying to impose his style on kind of Ange's team you know as I say without Maeda and having that press up front it can be difficult but no as I say I would be delighted as I say if we win the league, um, and yeah, the cup would be a, almost a bonus as well, but the league's important. There's been a point over the past month where you look at Rangers, they've come back from that point deficit, had the games in hand, could have gone top of the table. Were you ever worried? Or do you think Rangers could win this league? Are we always confident in this team? No, I mean, the, the, the league's far from finished, as I say. We, we, we're almost in the exact same position as we were before Rangers dropped a few points. Um, it's in both teams' hands. Um, and for me now, obviously today is important. And I think this gives the team a kind of focus. It allows them a bit of a distraction to kind of, you know, turn their minds to the cup. And obviously you get that at the end of the season. Celtic in the Scottish Cup final is kind of, you know, a part of the, the folklore of the club. Um, but as I say, the league is most important. As I say, I think Rangers will still be a threat. Um, Celtic still have to go to... Come on, look, we have to go to Dens Park, so, and we have to play Rangers at Parkhead. So, um, yeah, I, do you know, it's all to play for. I, I certainly am getting carried away. Score prediction this afternoon? I, I, I think Celtic will probably win, I would say 3-1, I think so. Perfect. Well, I hope you enjoy the game. It kicks off here at Hamden at 12.30.